Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today I want to talk to you about diversifying your efforts as an artist. And what I mean by that is, especially right now, things change so often <laughs> with our world, with social media, with a lot of things. And if you kind of have all of your eggs in one basket, it can be a little bit scary. Um, now that's not to say to not go all in on something, but I highly, highly, highly recommend having different sources of income and also being able to be flexible. So if you only were showing and selling your art in galleries, you might be having an issue right now because the galleries are closed as of the time of this video. Um, I mean, in the future they won't be. But if that was your only means for selling art, you could probably see how you would be having difficulties. Also, I think kind of overall art sales have slowed down a bit. And also I know that um, advertising income, so say if you're an artist on YouTube, that has also slowed down. So you can either, of course, be in a lot of trouble or you can diversify and quickly change gears to, um, you know, keep going and manage to keep pulling in that income. So I'm going to just let you guys know a few ways that I am personally doing that and what's been successful for me. I did have kind of a lot of eggs in one basket with YouTube. And when some changes started happening with that, I quickly shifted to also posting videos on Facebook and monetizing that. So that was a huge one, um, and that also boosted my actual physical painting sales. So that's one big shift that I've had recently. And then I've also been really concentrating on my affiliate marketing. And what that means is the materials that I use. Now, I'm not an affiliate with every single company that I use their materials, but with as many as possible, Become an affiliate, and that way when you tell other people about those products, you can get money from that. And that's almost all companies do that, including um, Amazon, um, Michaels even, Blix, Arteza. There's a lot of companies that have affiliate programs. So check with the companies that you use their art supplies already. Go to the bottom of their website or just contact them, but go to the bottom of their website and there's generally an affiliate link at the bottom that tells you if they have, if you can enter their affiliate program and things like that. So that's a really big one. Um, and then just like diversifying my art as well in terms of not just selling the physical paintings, but I've been also working on selling more merchandise recently. So that's the, the shirts that I make and making new products with that. You can, if you have the time, you can spend all day long and put your art on various products that you can then sell, okay? So that's another way. And then there are ways that I'm not doing. Like you can, there are online galleries that you can go that direction. And um, there, there's definitely other ways. Those are pretty much the ways that I'm doing it is monetizing my online presence as much as possible, which is assisting in the selling of the, the physical paintings and then diversifying with selling my merchandise and then the affiliate programs as well. Lastly, I will say that right now going live is a huge movement. I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of people that had a brick and mortar shop or were doing shows at venues and stuff, now they're taking it onto social media and going live on social media. So that is definitely something that you can do. You can go live on social media. You can go live on YouTube and Facebook, no matter how many followers and subscribers you have. You can't go live on YouTube mobile without a thousand subscribers, okay? But you can still go live on YouTube. And if you guys have any questions on that, let me know and I'll get them answered the best I can. But you can go live on the different platforms and you can set up a PayPal button where people can donate to you. You can also do live art auctions. 
You can do all kinds of live things now on social media. So start thinking with that and just think of like the ways you can get really creative and diversify your art income. I hope this was helpful. I know I kind of covered a lot. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And um, also definitely feel free to suggest future topics. And I will either point you to the video I've already made or I'll make a new video on it and cover it even more or anything I can do to help you guys. So I'll see you next time.